All right, here we are. Live once again. We're What's live. up, Facebook? I was probably reading a fair show last week, too. I think you were. Because I think I said, all right, time to stop flipping those pages. Yeah, you Son. can hear them. All white will never not be cool. <laughs> Ready to get white overalls. Skatosis episode number 68 is brought to you by Old Dude Skateco.com. Alright, just about, just about ready. One today. <laughs> it's the same way, buddy. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Skatosis, your weekly podcast about skateboarding. I'm your host, Drew Donfius. I'm Aaron Monte. Skatosis is the condition of being consumed and obsessed with all things skateboarding. I got way better at that now. <laughs> the only known cure, saying it. more skateboarding. Oh, man, what do I have on my pants? <laughs> you don't tell me. I don't, I don't know. Skatosis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, man. I gotta apologize up front. You're gonna probably hear me cough a couple times, man. I'm just getting over a cold. I did not give that you gave to me. No, took me out. So many people. Oh my gosh, dude! It took me out of commission. See, remember what we were talking about? Your 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 bubble, your space, and and being considerate. Uh huh. Yeah. (laughs) You knew what you signed up for that day. (laughs) For every day. You knew. I know what I got with you. It's a skatosis, man. It's a sickness. Except today, you can hear it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Typically you can't hear it, but I'm feeling a lot better. I'm ready to skate today. I That's just keep good. coughing stupid crap out, and you know, so excuse me up front. I apologize, but uh, we're at Facebook Live here today. Hello, I think I'm gonna man. put this on YouTube, so this might as well just call it whatever video YouTube video, Live. video episode. Yeah. No, it's not streaming on YouTube yet, but I mean, oh yeah, I guess that would be streamed. Yeah. yeah. At some point though, I mean, there's different setups where we could do full live setup and this and that. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, if people dig this kind of live stuff, let me know. Mm-hmm. And we'll keep doing that kind of thing. I've got some uh, new things for the for the listeners out there, for the watchers, sure. everybody out there. If you go to skatosis.com, you can't see it on the video, but on the sidebar on the left, there's a new spot where people can send in clips if they want to get into our OTP videos. Yeah, dude. We haven't mm-hmm. really we haven't really sat on the pew in a while. No. There, there are pews on the ramp, mm-hmm. so I like the name still. Mm-hmm. Off the pew still makes sense because we're yeah. not there. So OTP, so OTP with the BBC. I, st- I like all that. Mm-hmm. But man, if you guys want to be a part of uh, any of these videos, I've already got a clip. That's sick. Our dude, Zahul, that's his Zahul. name. I had to ask him. He, he gave me a call. Said that, you know, he told me how to pronounce it. <laughs> I kept thinking his, uh, it, it, the first name that he has on his profile is just like a joke name that I didn't know. So I thought that was his first name and Zahul was his second name. Uh-huh. But it's, I was, so now we know. Now we know. Yeah, Sick but clip. dude, he sent me this crazy clip. He's uh he's from the Czech Republic and he rips these crazy bowls out there. He does front inverts, uh, nice. crazy airs. He's got this one trick. He comes up, does a full rock and roll, and as he decks it, dude up on the deck puts his beer out, and he, when the board comes back. Pops the beer. Oh, yeah, is that the clip? Yeah, dude, it's so That's cool. Sick. I'll show it to you, but yeah, man. It's yeah. pretty sweet. Yeah, he's got some good tricks. Uh, big, old, big old backside boneless. Nice. Yeah. So that'd be awesome. But man, so he, and he used a little uploader, so. Pretty cool. It works perfectly. Works, yeah. mm-hmm. And even do it from an iPhone. I tried mm-hmm. it on there too. Like typically, I haven't been able to like select a file, uh-huh. like for a file upload on a phone. But you can do it with this thing. Okay. So you got to try it too. Yeah, I. I mean, you all have, your, you have all my. No, clothes. but I'm saying the stuff that you film at the park. Uh-huh. Those could easily be in an OTP. But, oh yeah, but that's I, true. But I never have them. But that's you could true. you could totally upload them now. So you could give them to me easily now. I shouldn't delete them right away then. 
No. I like make the edit. You upload and delete. I need phone space. <laughs> well, yeah, send it to me, then delete it. Uh huh. All right, that's my new there that's my new go. plan. Yeah. Edit, send to you. Exactly. Delete. <laughs> delete them all. Delete them. There's all. like a few I've kept. Just because, like, I'm stoked on those. Right? Like, you'll use them again later, or you want to look at them? I want to personally look mm-hmm. at them. It's it's always the ones that I'm, like, that front board where I had to, like, up to the... Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I had to, like, go up into the rail to right. the front. Yeah, right. that one, like, scared the fuck out of me. Yeah. I had to, like, roll up to it so many times. So that one I kept. Cause That's I'm, pretty like, cool. I, I did it. Most of the tricks that you're really good at scare me. It's always the the front side shove stuff where it's uh-huh. just like I don't you're flipping it behind you I don't uh-huh. you, I don't know you do backside bonuses and then I'm like what do you do with your feet and hands <laughs> I don't like I don't understand at all Oh well, I don't that's what's awesome about complimenting that's... other skaters man I feel so cold up here I'm like jittery I know, it's Yeah cold. it's well, cold dude okay, so, so we are in Wisconsin <laughs> It is it started to snow today was the first snow First snow October 30th Yeah and uh we're living it now. Oh, and I didn't because I, I didn't have the heater on up here before we came. I didn't realize it's gonna be freezing. Like, yeah, jittery. I didn't cold. realize it was cold enough to snow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I knew that uh, last night it could have, but it, it might. It was supposed to for a little bit, but wasn't it party like two weeks ago or something? I know, man. This weather <laughs> it was, is like, crazy. So nice. Although that was like the warmest birthday I've had in a long time. Uh-huh. It's always co- too cold to have anybody over. Honestly, when I, I mean, mm-hmm. you know. Honestly, when I got here, yeah. I was just going to say this is like the warmest October 30th. Yeah. Like and then the snow two hours ago, Yeah, and now it's snowing. Like two hours ago, it wasn't too bad. Is it still? It no, looked, it kind of stopped. It like hail at first. It was like sleet, I think that's what that's called. Or, where it's like little balls. It's not quite hail, but it's little puppy balls. It's mm-hmm. not flakes. It's in between. I think it's called sleet. I'm uh-huh. not sure. But whatever the case. Whatever the case. It sucks. We're, uh, we're but we're dealing. skating the, later. Like, yeah. uh, it's Rip's birthday. Yeah, Rip's his birthday today, so we're going to go skate with him. Uh-huh. He's got a few guys coming out tonight. I got a crock pot full of hot food, so nice. get belly warm. warm us up. Yeah. I got that patio heater, so it'll be all right tonight. Do you have a heater out there? Yeah. One of those little, you know, not the torpedo ones, but the patio ones that you got to stand around. The tall one? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh. I'll have that on tonight. That'll be good. Oh, yeah, that will be good. Yeah. It won't be too. It won't be. It'll be all right. Yeah. Once we're all skating, we've it'll be been, good. We've done it's, Yeah, this is nothing, weather. dude. Yeah, this I is know. like, it's in the 30s. You know what sucks is that it's always colder in the house. Yeah. As soon as I get outside, I'm like, oh, this thing's so bad. Yeah. I get all bundled up, and layers. And you and... get to, like, negative weather, yeah. then it's, like, cold in the house. No, no. And then when you yeah. go outside, yeah. But I live in layers. Like, mm-hmm. I can't keep this house warm. Right. It's an old house. One day, I'll get real sighted. Real insulation. <laughs> yeah. Until then, I'll just keep, you know, putting my efforts into my skate park. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, let's just warm yeah. that up more yeah. and then spend more time in there. Exactly. Just need mm-hmm. to close it off and make, yeah. it, make it a little insulated space. Yeah, if anything, just convert your money mm-hmm. into that. I mean, we could. It's just time and effort, I you know? know. I, you know. All the heating bills you're paying now, mm-hmm. just just pay them for the barn, like, slowly, <laughs> and, like, don't tell Dawn. Yeah, right. And then eventually we'll just have, like... She'll just a be frozen. Part. She'll be yeah. frozen in the corner. She'll like, notice it like day one. It's all good. Yeah. She, you guys got a fire. <laughs> Man, I got to give a huge uh, thank you and a big shout out. I've already thanked them already, you know, personally, but mm-hmm. just to the ever, to the world, especially if you're watching here on Facebook Live for this board right here, Steve Richardson. Yeah. Was just dude that I met him. down in Costa Rica. He lives, uh, he's like a San Diego, Arizona guy. Sure. But uh, I met him because he bought this bar from my friend and he turned it into Tasty Waves where I left my bus. Mm, and so like okay. he's just a solid dude uh-huh. yeah when we had our whole nightmare down in costa rica he was like the first person that was able to help me out by letting me use his phone i mean he's just That's that so, dude yeah. is like a friend for life for sure for lice for, friend for lice you watch the, um stays forever the, the trailer park boys oh no, I know. <laughs> but um so dude all out of nowhere he sends me this message that oh i'm sending you this board that i got and it's the most incredible vintage skateboard that I've ever owned. It's wood. What year did you say that was from? It's his early 60s. I don't have a year pinpointed yet. I'm still okay. trying to find more information, but there's not a whole lot of information about this particular one. Uh-huh. You know, there's a whole bunch of people that have their, their collections, and they kind of describe what the one that they got, where they got it, whatever. Sure. But it's like, I, I, I don't have any kind of real website or anything that I can just go to to reference all these things. But it's right. called Scootster skateboard but it's the two separate words okay it doesn't say skateboard so it's this like skates because this is like literally metal wheels from a roller skate right that they put on this piece of wood piece that of is wood. just like it's just plywood uh-huh. that they shaped into some weird you know it's like it's a bit of a cone it's a bit of a like it's it's round edges but like one side tapers a little more than the other it's like shape boards now yeah <laughs> 
but it's just a flat piece of wood with some old metal roller skate wheels on uh-huh. it. And it's just it's just intense to see like what people were riding back then and how I mean, just just it. looking at the evolution of all these things. So I've got all these vintage boards here out today that I've started to collect, and I think they're in the like right vintage order. But it's like definitely in the '60s. Uh huh. This one might be the late '60s, early '70s. You can it's see like trucks progressively yeah, getting bigger. Yeah, but this one's got clay wheels. Whereas the other ones are urethane, mm-hmm. and these are metal, so it's like it's mm-hmm. a there's a, That's it's a not weird even history. Like, like this, you know, what I mean, mm-hmm. this is way before I even knew skating. Oh. You like know, well, that's know, a, this like, is like early the, skating as even these wheels. For real, this is I think the I think this is the only one older than me because if these are all in the seventies, mm-hmm. that one, the orange one for sure is from seventy one, same year I was born, uh-huh. same, and it was made in Burbank where I you know where grew, I grew up. up. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. So that's a really cool board. And you said you had one similar. To like this. that's what I rode as a kid. Oh, this is the exact one? Not that one. Oh. Don and Wiley found that out like at a Google for five bucks. Oh, it. really? Yeah. And it's in great shape. But it's like, it's so, it's like, it just it signifies so me that one right there because it's like I had one. It's my year. It's my, where I lived. It's, mm-hmm. it's pretty cool. GT. But, uh. And you can see it on the truck. Grentech. Grant Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> they had a factory in Burbank where they made those. It's crazy. That's rad. Yeah. But this wood one, man, I, I'd love, to, I want to keep trying to find out more history. So if anybody out there is listening knows anything about the Scootster skateboard, I'd like to hear. So he, what happened is he used to manage a skate park in Arizona. Okay. Between, I think he said, oh, oh, 06 to 10. Okay. And so one of the competitions, somebody gave this to him. Mm. And so he's had it ever since. And sure. it's just been sitting around. And Do you remember what the skate park was called? Um, I'd have to, he didn't, I don't know if he told me the name of the park. I think he said he was in Tempe. So, really? Mm-hmm. But, uh, so he had this board and then, you know, he's, he's follows me and he sees what I'm up to and he sees mm-hmm. the barn and he just thought it'd be better here than wherever he mm-hmm. was keeping it. And I just appreciate it so much. That's my first thought for like <laughs> skating. I'm like, it should be, a, it should it be like in the barn. Yeah. 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 So that's, it's so like it's like almost becoming a museum. It's whatever it's becoming, man. I love every bit of it. For sure. You know? Yeah. Because it's, it's got a life of its own now, mm-hmm. you know? And I had mentioned that to somebody on the, like, I'm a part of a over 40 group in mm-hmm. uh facebook for skaters that skaters that still skate over 40 or whatever right and um i posted a picture of something and i, I was talking with this was me and this guy just started talking back and forth just about different things about skating and i told him how i just got all these you know young guys that come up when i built it you know i built it for myself no, right no i didn't know anybody was going to skate it with me uh-huh. so i was like a it's like a field of dreams kind of effect where it's like uh-huh. i built it and they've all come uh-huh and I, and I have people hitting me i have like old friends <laughs> from high school hitting me up yeah every like progression of the ramp uh-huh. where it gets like bigger and like different levels people are like oh that looks so cool right we get you know that barn photo that like look it's like kind of like your upstairs one where it has like two layers yeah but it's like the whole thing is like bowls oh that bar- that barn that video that those dudes worked on like it's got it there's an edit of the guy cruising around it you mean or here no no, no not here but like i, I don't know there's a, i know what you're talking about there mm-hmm, is a barn it's like mm-hmm. little dips like everywhere For sure. that's that's I wish. what that place is. I mean, I, that's what it's turning. It's so many levels compared to, like, where we would be in. Can you imagine, though, if I had full rain upstairs, too? <sighs> I mean, we skate all the flat up there, just, you know, in, in circles. Know, the circles are fun enough. We doing that. <laughs> the, the, no, the circles are fun, dude. I love, uh-huh. I love doing laps up there. Uh-huh. I, I took that slam. I know. Just, yeah. Well, you just had the wrong wheels for laps. You oh, needed, yeah, I had the wrong... I had you were on your board. board. You got to yeah, do it either on that vintage Veriflex with the big fat wheels or the longboard, because mm-hmm. it just hugs. Mm-hmm. So if you're hugging and you can just cruise, that's so fun. Mm-hmm. But I mean, can you imagine? I'm gonna do it on this. Uh, I don't want nobody skating. It. It's gonna break. Can <laughs> I do it on this one? Uh, these are all not for skating anymore. All right. This is my. You talk about a museum. These are off. <laughs> these are off limits. Yeah, now. right. Yeah. I just I <laughs> I just know. use things in a museum. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'll that other that Veriflex. That's a, that's that's a museum piece. But I'm gonna let that be skated. Uh huh. That one's fun. Yeah, that one is. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, but so. Um, if I had full rain, man, that I mean, that's what that place would end up looking mm-hmm. like. I love that it's a party barn upstairs and skate park downstairs. So, I mean, the rest of the park will just be outside. Right. But it's already happening. So, right. like, Field of Dreams, what I didn't realize is that not only does it did I build it and the people will come, uh-huh. I build it and the ramps will come. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it, um, I just watched Terminator 2 last night. I hadn't seen that in so long. It was uh-huh. like a Netflix DVD. Never seen it. Really? Of course. Have you seen any of them? No. Okay, well, the second one is, like, there's an upgraded Terminator. The first one was Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh-huh. Edno, Skeleton, whatever, like, metallic robot skeleton sure. with, like, skin over it. Sure. The second one, the upgrade, is liquid metal. Nice. Yeah, so he couldn't... Still Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, 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 now it's uh, Pat, 
Patrick something. Pa it's a different guy. Oh, Arnold okay. Schwarzenegger's now in the in like the he's helping the guy role where okay. the first. So, sure, sure, sure. But there's a, there's a good and a bad robot, you know, like sure. from the future. Uh huh. You should see them. They're good. Uh -huh. But anyways, I haven't seen the Matrix either yet. Get out of here. I know. It's so liquid metal though is what I'm saying, right? Is that this <laughs> the ramps are becoming attracted to the barn <laughs> like I just saw the little bit of metal get attracted to the dude's foot. You know, it's got to like uh -huh. roll into him. So I met up with a guy at Midway Skate Park. Yes. You, the, where you've skated. I've skated. Right. You've got history there. Yes. You've definitely hung out with the dudes. Yes. You probably hung out with the guy that I met, maybe yes. not realizing his name or, you know, whatever. So his yes. name is Dan, owns the place, built the place. I got a little bit of history about the whole I thing. Know. I'm going to get him on the show. I want him to tell the story. Yeah, terrific. So much history behind this thing. A lot of bmx -y history. Main reason yeah. seems like why he shut it all down. Infestation of scooters, man. No. It's about, it's, it's a, in, a, in a roundabout way, I would say that's probably the root of it. You know, life he gets him. He was just over it, or he was... Tired of all the scooters, man. I think that was probably it. Oh, my God. This guy is my hero. <laughs> this is the only time you, you shut, shut down a skate car. Pulled the plug, dude. He should have just kicked the scooters out. It was more than that. He had to do life. It was just... It was a whole... The, the, sure. Life gets in the way, right? Sure, sure. And so, uh, so he had gone in to, like, look for some stuff, and he was going through, like, midway, you know, memorabilia day, uh -huh. and that's when he looked up the Facebook and saw my message, so, like, it had been just sitting in his inbox ever since I sent it, you know? Uh -huh. So he hits me up, he's like, dude, he's like, I'd love to meet you, I'd like, you know, let's talk about stuff, whatever, I'd like to find somebody to adopt some ramps, and so I finally got to go and meet him uh, yesterday, Sunday. Yesterday, okay, yeah. sure. So, um, just rolled up, got, as soon as we met, dude, it was like, we're like old souls, like old friends, man. That's it's so sick. great when you meet somebody that you just connect with, like, immediately. Mm -hmm. He's he's younger than me, 35. But Oh, really? Yeah, so, I mean, but it doesn't even matter. But when he first got my email, he thought I was going to be just, like, a kid, whatever, right? And stuff. Then he starts looking up ODS. And he starts seeing a 46. And he starts looking at all my stuff. And sure. He was getting the vibe. And see, he... We're on the, we have a lot of a similar path, him and I. Okay. Just with the idea of the barn and, like, building the indoor, outdoor, and, like, uh -huh. he's in a band, and he's got a whole rehearsal set up where the pro shop was, and it's, like, it's just crazy how, how things just turn out. Uh -huh. and, uh, so him and I were meant to meet. It was yeah. really cool. Yeah, for and sure. And he's got a lot of stuff that he just wants to give me. And where where was that again? Dundee? It's it's like Wacusta or something. Okay. Right, outside, right off of um, Kettle Moraine Lake. Okay. So it's like I was going to the lake. I had to hit the bait shop first, uh -huh. and Dawn saw the sign that she's like thinking she's going blind with skatosis. She uh -huh. sees a skate park everywhere, and uh -huh. literally there's a skate park right here in the middle of nowhere. Uh huh. That's just, I mean, that's more eyes for us. Yeah. We'll he's, take it on skate. Trip. He's got a John Alley board up on the wall. Mm, I remember that board. Yeah, uh, he's mm -hmm. got one up there. He knows this guy Micah that uh, my friend Paul knows. A bike, a lot of BMX history in there. Yeah. It, Dude, I mean, that's what I remember. I swear. Within 15 minutes, he showed me his shins without me even asking. <laughs> without me asking. <laughs> then we got on the whole topic of the show me your shins book. You should have taken a picture. He, oh, I will, for sure. But it's like, uh, the idea was, I mean, it was just so perfect. Everything was really kind of cool. So what he ended up doing, which I want him to really tell the root story though of, is that he bought all the ramps from... Uh, Camp o Owen? Camp o Wilson? What was it called? The, the Woodward Camp that was in Wisconsin. I have no idea. Yeah, there was one here, and he bought all the ramps. I, I never knew that. And they How built. How long ago? Um, well, he was there ten years, and he shut it down two years ago. So probably twelve, thirteen years ago. Okay. I definitely had heard of it. That I forget. Wils out. Camp Wilson, Wilson, I think is what it was. Okay. And it had the same kind of logo and everything, but I guess it was, it's just old history within Camp Woodward. So he's okay. been to East. He's been all over the place and stuff. And, um, yeah, dude, really cool stories. Very interesting stories. So, he's, yeah. so that was one of the first things I saw is he got all these big sections of ramp outside, and that sticker was on there. I, was, I, I recognized the, the, the logo. It looked like Woodward. Sure. But um, they're all mine if I want them. They're all these That's huge insane. sections. There's big seven-foot quarter pipe ramps that go up to vert, like big sections of ramp that are just sitting around outside. So they'll have to get reskinned, but, like, all these huge transitions and fully spined everything. Uh -huh. They're too big. even almost put cement over there exactly that's what i was thinking is that a lot of these things can just sit outside and we can use as forms instead of skinning we'll cement them right dude it's nuts Ooh. it's just big stuff that i can't just fit in my truck on my right. own so right. like, he's got a forklift i just need to coordinate a trailer fun. a truck something and there's no t i'm in no rush because it's his mm. building uh-huh so he's he had doesn't a, have to like be out of it he or anything. built the building 
Oh my god! Around the Ramsey bot. This guy. Well, him and his dad. His dad owns the play, the gas station, sure. and all that. So like, he's that's where he's from. That's where he grew up. Like, sure. But he does other work. But anyways, um, I can I can get him whatever. So not only the ramps, he's got all this beautiful coping, dude. Just like big the big pipe coping. He's got uh, angle iron everywhere. It's all mine if I want it. So. Oh. And so I just kept telling him how like all the guys that had you know are part of my crew are from his crew. It's just uh-huh. so nutty. Yeah, it's so weird yeah. that worlds colliding. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I remember and he really wants to come and skate. So when yeah, I went in, yeah. he's had to change it a lot around. Like it's like rental storage space, and he's helping a guy out with a work sh- wood shop. And, sure. But in the very very back, there's still this really big quarter pipe section. It's probably, oh, I don't know, ten fifteen feet wide, seven foot tall. Uh huh. And then up on that deck is a is a little half pipe, little mini ramp. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's still stuff in there. A lot of graffiti on the walls. A lot of posters. A lot of like. Signs of where the bike tires were up on the wall, like sure. just so much history. Sure. Yeah, in this place. And, and then he yeah. was showing me all kinds of fun stuff, uh, memories. Just he was going through his drawers, and he gave me a midway sticker. That's sick. Yeah, he, had, he gave me this other board. I'll show you it's out in the barn, but it was like some guy had like these inline skates in a rail on a in a line right down the gut of the board. Uh huh. I stood on it. You could balance. But I don't know what you would do. Around the middle. It was so weird. One long line of like six wheels down the middle of a board. <laughs> He was calling him fat board or something. It was weird. Weird. Yeah. So this guy ended up, he got stuck with like all these inline wheels. Uh-huh. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. But yeah, just fun stuff. So I, yeah, I, for sure. so I you wanna... did that Sunday. Mm-hmm. Saturday mm. was uh, Streets of Fire in Ashkosh closing. So I kind of had the same like reminiscing feeling. Yeah, I bet. Like, here are street stickers. Yeah, because you were there like a solid two years, right? Yeah. You never, yeah, I would say did so. you ever go there But when you lived down here? When, no, no, never, I, I never really ventured up that way. Mm-hmm. I went more south. Mm-hmm. And then once moving there, yeah, because I've been in Oshkosh for four, and I've, yeah, I was on the team for three. So did they shut three. down because of you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got too big for my face. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, man, I can't shake this air, dude. Oh, Let's just God, shut the shop too down. too much hype. <laughs> we can't handle it. Yeah, we hate his screaming in the videos. <laughs> We're going to shut it down. No, I mean... <laughs> What they, if they opened they, up like next door and it's like streets of water, <laughs> rivers, what of, an awful ri- rivers of water, rivers, rivers, rivers of water. I actually like. There you go. I mean, I'm wondering what that space is gonna. Oh, I do know what's going in there now. That store. Have you ever been Scooter, to Mojo's? Scooter shop. No. Have you ever been to Mojo's? It's like no. old. It's like video games and like stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They're t- they're next door. Mm-hmm. They're taking like the whole space. Mojo's to me are the French fries at Shakey's. Mojo to me is uh, from Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Mojo Jojo. <laughs> That's what I, is I've that what never you, been to. Do you call your girlfriend Mojo? No, I should though. <laughs> she is my Mojo. That's right. Wait, from Wait. Shakey's? Yeah, the pizza joint. You ever eat at a Shakey's? I've never even heard of it. Really? There's one in West Dallas for sure. I mean, I, they were. I don't know if they're all over the country, but I uh-huh. grew up with them in, in Burbank for sure. But I know there's mm-hmm. one in West Dallas. Mm-mm. Mojo potatoes. Mojo. They're like potatoes. yeah, they're like wedges. Never, no, I've no. never heard. I'm, no, that or the Camp Woodward in Wisconsin. What the hell, dude? I don't know. Where have I been? <laughs> yeah. Where have I been going? <laughs> you shaved. It's like you lost all I your powers. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> all your it, memories. Feel, it feels really <laughs> weird. I had the beard it's for a while. It's probably colder. Oh, I know. I shouldn't have done it. It's snowing now. I shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have done it. <sighs> Blew it. Yeah. Once again, this is the show where Aaron blows. Right. Me. So hang on a second. Oh. I think you're shaking too much. I'm shivering. We're shivering too much. That it's sorry. all right. It is what it would be. But um, sorry, Facebook Live. No, it's all right. They got to enjoy it. You're <laughs> welcome, Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That's just a. That's like a. That was product placement ad. At a certain time, I cued somebody to, <laughs> under there to pull a string so you could look at this board is oh available. My God. You could actually buy that Get one that fell. They break. If you want to buy the one that fell, you just let, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> you should put it up for five bucks more on the website. Yeah, extra. Yeah, because it fell. But, um, I'll sign that one. So what I was saying is not only that feel the dreams reality through Midway Skate Park, right? Mm-hmm. Because skate house is, because it never ends. This whole skateboarding adventure that I, that that we're on, mm-hmm. right? That, that is literally consuming me. Yes. It, because so on Saturday Matt calls me up, uh-huh. or it was Friday night. He's like, "Hey, dude, can I give you my quarter my quarter pipe that we just built?" Didn't, yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> did you just build it there? He had to move out. And oh. he wasn't going to leave it there, mm-hmm. and he can't take it where he's going. Mm-hmm. And I was like, of course, you know. 
I'm like the foster kid now of, of all ramps. <laughs> oh, oh, foster oh, parent, oh, the like, foster parent of ramps. Of old skateboarding. And so that quarter pipe that I've done in a couple of these little edits, it's just a cool little quarter pipe. It's mm-hmm. tied to the ground. Um, it's got de- real nice, co- you know, good coping on it. Mm-hmm. It's in the barn right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then Ryan, our other skater who hasn't really been around in a while, broke his foot a while back, but he hasn't oh. been able to make it. But, uh-huh. you know, Ryan, he had just recently brought over this heavy-ass curb like it's full on cement curb, uh-huh. not like the one that we've been skating. That's like silicone or whatever. Right, that's, that's really like, light. Yeah, whatever. This that is, is so freaking heavy. It's hard you for the. But then the little one. What? That curb. But what? What? On that on the little quarter. We could. I'm not sure where we wherever it's gonna go. It's gonna sit How for a while. Is it? You'll see. It's like four. It's like a typical curb. Okay. Okay. But uh, just ridiculous heavy. Uh huh. Apparently. Uh, Ryan found it when he was in high school with his friend in a river, and they drug it all the way home. And so it's got a lot of hi- another piece of history. Oh my god! And now it's, it's, so it's now here, and it's like it's the perfect thing for slappies. So I was kind of thinking of leaving it down below so we can learn learn true slappies. Oh, that might, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Idea. I really want to do that. Mm-hmm. And you know, we can we got the pipe and stuff up on the other ramp, and we can mm-hmm. move it wherever. It's just really heavy. Mm-hmm. I have yeah, it sitting yeah, on a hand. Wanna... No, I have it sitting on a hand truck right now, just because like I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. Right. You know. Yeah, maybe on the ground is good. Mm-hmm. But we could put it. We could kind of put it in that bank because you could like slappy and ride the bank down. Yeah, something. I mean, we'll find a cool spot for it. But for it's sure. awesome. I love just getting all these little additions. Like mm-hmm. I keep that big section where the couch is right now. I keep it open because in the future I imagine it being my little Volkswagen bus world. Mm-hmm. But now it's like, I don't know, I keep getting all these ramps. <laughs> we might have to bowl it out. <laughs> You're right, you got that. Didn't you get that from Matt, too, that plastic one? Or was that from Which somebody one? else? The, the, those the like curb? Old, no, 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 the, the plastic ramps. Oh, those are from Mark. Oh. That's a, that's a really weird, like, yeah, I don't know who would market that thing. Like, it just looks it's like, like it's a really body. quick, steep quarter pipe plastic uh-huh. tubular weird thing that we put together, but just was so sketchy. Yeah, very, yeah. That, even know that, that might be better as another form to just cement over. That's a good idea. You know, because the shape is there. That transition is clean. Mm-hmm, but it's just so sketch. So sketch. Yeah. But yeah, you throw a little rebar, some like a like a chicken wire uh-huh. over it. Dude, that, that actually... Where are you be... thinking with the other quarter you just got from Matt? I'm not sure. I was okay. thinking kind of like maybe T-bone and the ramp, like we used to have the crisscross. Sure. I was thinking it, because we have so much I flat. I was thinking this direction. Like mm-hmm. if this is the ramp, yeah. we put it like here and then you could like kind of hit it like almost like a bowl but like if that's what i mean cut out. that's what i mean t-bone oh so that's what you're saying yeah yeah, yeah. for like, a second i thought you meant no like, like in front of the couch no no like in front of the couch mm-hmm. butt it up against smooth so that we've got a little spot we can do mm-hmm. because there's so much flat mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. like a 26 foot run up to a quarter pipe now yeah yeah that's what i'm oh, saying I because we're on the same page and then like. i could put that parking block behind it that way it never that's moves that's a good idea and we can slap you right just there do it right there mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's what we'll do. Mm. <laughs> Look at what time are we at now? Oh, <laughs> we're 26 minutes. We haven't talked about anything but our own skateboarding world, which is awesome. Just Hit me with locals only. Oh, you know, no, 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 I should have. Sorry. Yeah. Locals only. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh, there it is. I'll, pl- I'll put it in put in post. <laughs> we'll fix it later. What? You got something else? Yeah, the whole show is just a locals only. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that. That's button. it, yeah. Yeah. I should get a soundboard over yeah. here. That's the new, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd like <laughs> That's all I would They have the apps on your phone. You can probably oh, get an app. Right. Yeah, yeah, just put it right. Like a little fart app. Dur, dur, dur. There's a cat dubstep app. Have you ever heard that one? Mm-mm. That's pretty funny. I, I might it's still just have. cats? It's all different cat sounds, but like in a dubstep, like, and then you got the... Oh, yeah, that kind I'm of, downloading that very soon. Yeah, it's pretty funny. But, oh my gosh, okay. What other... What other skateboarding is there? Yeah, what like, else have I done? What else, what have else I been could doing? there possibly be out there to watch? Oh my gosh. Dude, congrats to Eric Winkowski. Straight up. Yeah, the, that's... The invert stall, ho-ho king. Man, I love yeah. I love every variation of the invert that he does. Yeah. And that he stalls them for so long. Love it. <laughs> I mean, his inverts in general. Every invert. Just, every yeah. invert is so good. Every variation. And mm-hmm. the fact that he rides that big fat board down mm-hmm. these crazy rails and just everything yes. he does, man. I'm, Did you see his Bronson ad? That, like, Smith down that rail? Yes, dude. And how many slams he took, too. Yeah. That's gnarly. Yeah, he's so yeah, awesome. Nice yeah. But that whole Santa Cruz edit, the European tour, is so good. Mm-hmm. I think so that much. just came up on their YouTube page, too. I didn't see that on Thrasher. No, no, no. I only saw it on YouTube. Yep. I subscribed to their channel. So, mm-hmm. you know, whenever they got stuff, I always try to watch it. Cause mm-hmm. And I was like, man, this is a long one. But it's like, I really want to see this. Mm-hmm. And then right in the middle pro like you know it didn't say anything and like you know you didn't queue it up it was a you know good no, surprise to the viewer like, and the game escape they did 
Which one? Or he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They sport. switch boards. So weird. That was a weird way to do it. But I, yeah. whatever, man. That, whatever. That, he was so surprised and stuff. Yeah, he okay. did. I hear that a lot from like pro stories. It's like, oh, no, I didn't even realize. Like, Neen Williams. Mm-hmm. He was saying, he's like, oh, I didn't even realize I saw the cigarettes and the booze and I like yeah. was going to leave. <laughs> you like never, you never have that thought and then it happens. Yeah, that's the best, man. Yeah. Like a real true surprise. Yeah. I mean, it sure. sucked if you just kind of knew it was coming and you're just waiting for it. That's true. Yeah, you know? that'd be like a it, bad attitude towards it too. I don't know about that, but it just it wouldn't be so genuine, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but man, it's such a good video. Just all the tricks, everybody. So like, so th- I was talking to you earlier about the, the salad grind, mm-hmm. just because I kept seeing Eric dress and doing the grinds, and I'm like, man, it has to be it. And I looked it up, and I was like, why don't I even know this as a real deal? Like, sure enough, I mean, it was called the salad grind because of Eric dressing and then the I salad ne- dressing. I, I never do that. Yeah, that's a, I love it more. Yeah, it's so good. But because you kept saying I was doing salad grinds, and mm-hmm. I did, didn't realize what that meant. I was out of the skating world as Dressen came through. Sure, you know? sure. And, but what's interesting is like watching that video, him and I have a way similar style. He does yeah. a lot of tricks that I would do, mm-hmm. you know? I can see that. Especially as an older dude or whatever, but there's just a lot of his t- tricks. I'm like, man, I do skate like him, mm-hmm. you know? But now I want to get the full, true salad grind front side, which I didn't realize. So you're going front side. That's what a salad grind is. Okay. Technically, is front side. So I've been doing backside salads. Uh-huh. If you, you know, you're going to get but technical. You know yeah, totally. I feel super comfortable mm-hmm. doing it, not knowing that that's what it was. Mm-hmm. It's just when I go 5 0, I love to just tweak it as sharp as I can the opposite way before I come back. Mm-hmm. And it's almost to blunt. Like, if I just tweak a little more, that wheel's going to roll up. Mm-hmm. Or you go to, you go, like, back tail. If you're going backside? Uh, no, because no, I'm no, tweaking no, the no, other no, way. Right. It would be yeah, blunt. you're right. Because I, I've done that on accident, where I'm just tweaking it, and it'll kind of mm-hmm. pop up, and then I jump. You should go back I, by back salad to blunt. I've never tried, but, I mean, it's basically the next thing. Uh-huh. But a true salad is front side, and it's okay. just called a salad grind. Okay, I should try those, too. You should, dude. You got those, yeah. like, you thrashing up on the front side, but you got to, like... You kind of have to be able to do a solid frontside grind for a good distance. Mm-hmm. They can't really be that quick. No, because it looks like it was almost so recently. I just learned feebles, but on a box. Yeah, and it's kind of the same thing where it looks like there's some tricks where it looks like you're just slipping out. Yeah, it's on a box a for box. sure. Oh, yeah. Feeble is meant to be like a coping or a rail. On a rail, yeah, for sure, because you mm-hmm. get the full effect of dipping that out. Mm-hmm. Because See, yeah, yeah, you look like it. you're sliding out. Because I thought that yeah. too. I mean, it technically is a feeble. But it, it just it was a feel, but on a box it looks. Mm-hmm. The only reason I like it could that be a truer feel. I'm going yeah, down. I'm sorry. The other line I did, uh-huh. I was doing fifties uh-huh. and I was just doing them so fast that I like, I Slipped was slipping out, out into yeah. feebles, and I'm like, oh, I could probably just do feebles. But if you look at a guy doing a feeble properly on a ledge, they're crouched when they do it, and they're sideways, and mm-hmm. they're dipping it. It's like dip. It's dip it's like this dip way, down. not slip this way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. It, you can wait I mean, people down. Do, no, 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 like. They'll like come this. up and they'll be sideways dipping it that way. Mm-hmm, the board's like that. Uh huh. Yeah. Whereas yeah. yours was just up here slipping. Yes. Not that it's not the same trick, but with the proper the style, mm-hmm. it's sideways and fully mm-hmm. dipped. The only thing I was happy about that, I mean, I was happy I learned something different, I guess, mm-hmm. but I popped out of it and I'm like, oh, hell yeah, then I'm taking it. Like, if you oh, just yeah. like slip out, oh, yeah. I think I would have. I would take but it you're too. you're right, dipping it mm-hmm. is where I need to go with that. Sometimes I feel like when we're riding the ramp here, I, I go to feeble almost like it's so easy to slip into feeble when you mm-hmm. just miss the 50 50. Yes. Then I hardly like to call it a feeble because it, it just happens. It just mm-hmm. happens. You know? I think it's a feeble when you're, when you try a feeble. <laughs> when it slips yeah. out, you're like, no, it's not. Because there's like, there's a lot in that edit mm-hmm. where that one where they like did a power slide in front of the camera. Mm-hmm. That one, like, it was just like 50s every time. Right, right. And I'm like, oh, I just need to. When you try a feeble, I, then I, it's a feeble. True. I get you for sure. Yeah, but I like it when a feeble actually grinds. Yes, like and I've I been should, trying to do those. Um, rails now is going to be. That's going to be way tricky. different. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, it's just it's the opposite of a Smith. Mm-hmm. I can't do so. Smith's on a box so thing. another thing with Smith is that the a Smith grind is front side. Yes. Backside Smith is either backside Smith or a Monty grind. Because Monty Nolder was always doing those. So there's there's different. Oh, I've never heard that mm-hmm, one. That's a backside Smith. Mm-hmm. Backside Smith, they're even sketchier than frontside Smith. Frontside Smith, I can like mm-hmm. kind of get. I can't do either of them. <laughs> I can get into frontside Smith. I can do them both. Like I can't dip. I can't get them for a distance, but I can definitely get into them. Mm-hmm. I wish I could get a longer one. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just being able to balance on that yeah, back it's just truck and dip. Pushing that weight. Mm-hmm. I think you got back Smith, mm-hmm. like grind, mm-hmm. and front salad grade. 
I think you got both. You know, I haven't really tried a good front uh, backsmith with these big fat trucks. It might mm -hmm. be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got it. All right. And I got bigger it. wheels today. That's so true. I'm riding 58. yeah, 58s from 53. So I'm stepping it up a little stepping on this bigger up, setup yeah. just to see how it feels. And a nine board. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah. it's like a, it's a it's a big boy board. Um, Halloween Hell Ride mm -hmm. Nine Club is that there? The yeah, I did. I haven't seen it at all or listened to or anything. There was a guy. Uh, I don't know who the guy. Uh, uh, Russo, Chris Russ. Uh, he's a bowl skater. I'll show you the clip, but he got a board. His pro model. Not Grosso. No, 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 no. Um, no, I'll show you. I'm okay. Dude. Um, Rick Ross. Uh, fuck. <laughs> um, it's. He said they were called anti rails, mm -hmm. and they were like in the side of the board, and they were like cut in rails in the board. In the board. Yeah. Hmm. It was like the, it was. Were they I've plastic? Never, no, it looked like it looked like, like a cut in into the board. I'll have to show you the yeah. clip. Hmm. But he was like saying the they're called for anti like, rails. Weird. Like where you'd put the. Uh, the fin on a surfboard? Like they had that slot in the board? Yeah, yeah, kind of huh. like a slot. Hmm. Anti-rail? Yeah. I'll show, I'll show you the clip Did it do anything, or is it just a statement? Uh, he said, they like asked him about it, and uh -huh. he said it's like, it's really nice to like lock into like backside grinds, or like a smith, or like a feeble, because uh -huh. you're like kind of stuck in. Is it a groove then? Like like how, how, looked, how Gons, looked... is, Gons kind of has those grooves in his boards. Yes, but it looked a little different than that. Okay. But it was like a size. It was like a size. It looked gap. like a groove in huh. the vi in the video I was watching. It looked like a groove. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because sometimes I've I mean, never I've never seen anything like mm. it. I wonder. I've been thinking. I wonder if like I should take off one rail, and I wonder if that would help on like maybe the one, Brad Cromer approach. Yeah, or Nora, she's been riding just to run one, one rail. Good shout out. You know? I mean, I like to save the artwork and all, but it's like the board is getting heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's bigger and heavier now, mm -hmm. and it's like Which I, one I wonder if I would slide better. I don't know yet. Like I don't know. It's just a thought. You probably do. You probably keep the left one. I would probably want to keep the. Yeah, I don't know. Because I think I would, if I was gonna go one, I would have gone right. I think I would keep the, the front, my toe one. I think for front side yeah. grabs. Yeah. So you go like. I think I don't know. On the... I'll probably just keep them both. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Changes. Hard. But I'm just wondering, like, would I lock in better to certain grinds? Am I something out? One? If if it was on wood as opposed to the oh. rail. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. They always say rails are, they're slippery. They are, they're man. To, like, they're totally them. slippery. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes they're too slippery. I can't control it. Sometimes where I'm mm -hmm. trying to just do a slide and just get out of it. But I don't. Do you have another board set up? Yeah, they both have rails. Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe take one off the other one. Yeah. And then you'll have like one of each. Be like guns. <laughs> just get like seven boards. I, dude, it's getting crazy around here. I do have boards, like, boards <laughs> everywhere here. It's like That's all of these ones. These are like vintage. These are like you know my keepers. You're gonna have to start like cutting grooves in it. Yeah, I'm gonna test them all. Out. Yeah, yeah. There's just boards everywhere. It's uh -huh. insane. I love it though. This is the world we've shown. Yeah. So um, yeah, there's just been so much skateboarding to watch. Uh, not only that uh, Santa Cruz one, but um, what are some of these other ones? Did you see like T Funk and Reynolds just cruising them? Like uh, they they tore yeah, up that distribution Clint. center. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was that one. There. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm at a loss for words at this point <laughs> to just talk about all these other clips. I mean, they're all on skatehosted.com. They're all at Facebook. So much to see. So much, so much to love. So yeah. much to get stuck And I didn't realize we were going to go so long just talking about us <laughs> and our things. But I think that's what we did last show, too. Whatever, dude. I love it. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, let's just wrap this up because we got Rips. He's on his way over yeah, just a little bit. It? It's... Um, it's four, so they're gonna be here like an hour. Okay. So we can go start getting some things set up. We'll get the heater going. Yeah, let's get the get heater the going. going. That sounds yeah, terrific. Dude, so do some skating. So I hope everybody out there goes out and gets some skating. If you wanna get involved with the show, I really hope people do. Send us some clips. Send us some photos. Send yeah. me a picture of your shins. <laughs> uh -huh. you know? We should do we should get the picture of the shins from yeah. like interviews we do. So you can do yeah, every, yeah. every time I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna just remember. I got Bill's get shins. Every, everybody's shins. I'm gonna see. Uh -huh. But uh, right on the website, skatosis.com, right on the sidebar, super easy. Just give me your name, give me a URL if you want to credit yourself, you know, if you send us somewhere, and then you can upload a file. Easy. It, it takes easy. JPEGs, you know, mm -hmm. GIFs, it takes uh, MP4s, MOVs, so you can upload video and photo. I will send you all my clips. Yeah, I do, for real. Check it out. I deleted them all. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's get out of here. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Check Thanks us out everybody. iTunes, Facebook, Skate Check us out. Check us out. Dude, check us out. Do whatever you Just want. Just look at us. Check us out. <laughs> All right, man. Love you. Love you, buddy. Later. Ah, wrong hand. Oh, dude.
That hand's bru- bruised to uh, shit, dude. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, let's go hurt it some more. Yeah, let's get it. Fight. I got a wrist guard. All right, good show. Forgot to drink my beer, so cheers. Look at this, Brenner Brewing. Love you, too. Later. Bye.